What is a long range solution of those struggling to make ends meet? A local nonprofit has a novel way to get results in a nation where extreme poverty is common. We have found that giving handouts does not work, that they can become very dependent on us, and that's not what they want to do, and it's not what we want to do at Microfinancing Partners in Africa. This St. Louis Global Outreach, founded in 2006, has influenced growth within villages of Africa. And success is based upon microfinancing. Microfinancing is a concept that was originated by a man named Muhammad Yunus in India, and it's the idea that if very impoverished people kind of group together and take small loans, very small, $5, $10, the kind of loans a bank would never give, that people could raise themselves up out of poverty slowly but surely. So a microfinancing loan could be to start a new business. That could be a vegetable business. It could be a sewing business. Another way to do it is in a farm area. The farmers prepare their land, grow grass, because what they're going to get is a pregnant cow, and they're going to do what's called zero grazing. So they provide the food for the cow. The cow can provide biofuel from the waste. It provides milk for the children. Excess milk can be sold, which provides income. They can fertilize their fields and their farms, which allows for better crops, and then they can sell crops. It just has such a large impact. One cow for one family. And it influences the rest of the community as well. People see how well a family is doing with a cow and they too want to join the program. With the introduction of microfinancing, microfinancing partners in Africa has also improved health care in African villages. I spoke with our founder and we decided that we needed to introduce microfinancing to the village health centers. And they would in turn educate the mothers and train them to develop their own microfinancing projects, which would give them a means to pay for their transportation, antenatal care, and delivery. We gave the village health centers the option of coming up with a microfinancing project that would work for their uh, remote villages and for the mothers, and many chose animal husbandry, mostly pigs. And so the village health centers have developed piggeries where they've been able to rear and breed pigs, and then they introduce the mothers to the concept of microfinancing. Our piglet project starts with women who are post-fistula surgery. They have had a birthing injury repaired, and they're often ostracized from their community. They don't have the resources to raise a cow, per se. They don't have the land. They don't have the manpower, but they can handle a pig. And they usually recruit one or two friends to help with the pig. They build a very small paddock. They allow them to graze even on the roadside, but that pig has two litters a year, usually of 10 to 12 piglets, which allows her to pay that loan back to us forward to her friends and then still have many piglets that she can sell in the market and start an income of her own. In talking with the midwives when we've gone back to follow up on our project, the midwives have told us that the mothers are coming into the village health centers for antenatal care as well as for deliveries. At some village health centers the numbers have doubled, at others they've quadrupled, at one in particular. And not only did this village health center see an increase in the number of antenatal visits and deliveries, but they also saw in general that husbands and other family members were coming in for general health care because they began to know the midwives and the clinical officers and they began to trust them uh, with their health care. One of the things that gives me great satisfaction is being involved with a cause or a project that is expanding the good in the world. And this definitely does that. I think one of the most meaningful times when I visited, one of the mothers said to me, thank you for restoring my dignity. Now actually she restored her dignity, but the dignity that they, like us, want by providing for their families from education to food to housing is just like for us. And that if they can do that for their children, that means everything to them. For more information on this St. Louis nonprofit, go to microfinancingafrica.org.